hello 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 and uh, welcome to your daily word it's another monday and i pray that your monday is going well i trust god that your weekend was a restful weekend full of joy and you experience the peace of god now today monday as you go about your normal duties and your business and as you go to school whatever you are doing today i pray for you may the lord strengthen you may the lord grace you may the lord cover you may the lord go before you and make every crooked path straight before you in the name of jesus now we continue our discussion of the book of nehemiah and we are in chapter 7 however this part of chapter 7 is a list of all the returnees from the babylonian exile so i'm going to select a few of the key verses for our reflections let's start with chapter 7 verse 7 and the new king james version reads those who came with zerubbabel were jeshua nehemiah azariah ramiah nahamani modakai i'm sure that name rings a bell bilshan mispereth bigvai nehom and bana the number of the men of the people of Israel. And of course, the list continue. So chapter 7 is basically, you know, the names of all the returnees according to their families and their clans. That has been lifted there. If time, if we had time, in fact, I would have actually, um, you know, reflect on the meanings of all the names and you will actually see that they do mean something because every name is very significant in this um, portion now the mention of Zerubbabel as the first on the list was not unplanned he was also in the service of the king of Babylon and was like Daniel and his three friends given the name Shesh Bazaar. According to Ezra chapter 1 verse 7 to 8, King Cyrus of Persia brought out the articles of the house of the Lord which Nebuchadnezzar had taken and counted them into the hands of Shesh Bazaar, that's Zerubbabel, who was then prince of Judah. He was the same person that God assigned the building of the temple in Jerusalem. He was the same person that the word of the Lord came to, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. You remember that, that verse? In fact, it's even a song. Okay, Zerubbabel's name means born in Babylon. So that tells you something, that this guy, you know, his parents were taken into captivity. He was born in Babylon because they were in that captivity for 70 years. So you can imagine, he grew up in captivity and now he's come to a place where he, although he was taken from his home, he grew up in a different culture. He grew up in a place where, you know, he was even forced, they tried to change his identity. But he got to that point where he became one of the people that the king Cyrus trusted with all the items of the vessel or the vessels of the house of God you know and put it into his hands so that they could take those things back into the temple from where Nebuchadnezzar had taken those things the point here is that listen regardless of where you were born or how you were born so long as you are on this earth god has a purpose for you and regardless of the sort of uh, oppression or challenges that you have been through god's plan for your life will surely come to pass and in fact all the names that are in this verse verse 7 of chapter 7 you know all of them did something we can think of Mordecai, for example he paraded up and down, you know, the palace of um, King Atazazes. And of course, he was the uncle of Esther. 
But when they returned, he returned in the company of Zerubbabel. So again, this verse is giving us an indication of how the people of God actually teamed up together and they worked and all of them had different assignments. Just like we all have our different callings and different assignments, it is important for us to work together as the people of God. Some people will be trusted with building the temple. Some people will be trusted with building the walls some people it will be working with their um, you know nieces to get them into high position so that God can work through them to bring about transformation and change so that the people of God will be preserved whatever your role is it is my prayer that you will take it very seriously and you will be a man or a woman of integrity so that God can trust you, God can rely upon you, and God can use you to fulfill his purpose. Sila on these words, and may the Lord bless you as you do. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Thank you.